Hey there, welcome back to Reddit XO, the best channel for Reddit cheating stories. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for more stories like these. Wife had three-year affair with her college professor. She claims she was brainwashed by him. Hi everyone. This is a really hard post to write, but it feels therapeutic to write this out. Hopefully, I can get some advice along the way. My wife and I have been married for almost 10 years. We're both in our mid-30s. A few years ago, she decided she wanted to go back to college and get her master's degree. We both thought it was a good idea. Our married life was great and we were both very happy. It was the happiest I had ever been. When she started going back to school, life obviously got busier because she had more on her plate. After a few months, her behavior started to change. She'd stay out later than normal to study at the university library or she'd meet up with people from class for various projects. Sometimes, she'd forget something at the office and have to go get it, even though it was late. I had a feeling something was off but I had no proof. Everything she said made sense. Sometimes, I would verify things or try to find inconsistencies. But nothing. Everything seemed normal. I just thought I was being paranoid. One Saturday morning, I sat down to check my emails. We share a home computer, which she sometimes uses for homework. I noticed she forgot to log out of her account from the night before. Before logging her out, I see tons of emails from one person. I didn't recognize the name. So I went to her Facebook and Instagram accounts to see if she was friends with this guy. Nope. So I googled him and it turned out it was her college professor. He was in his 50s, married, and had three teenage kids. It looked like he was happily married. I was relieved and didn't think much else about it. The emails seemed innocent. I remember when I was in college, I emailed back and forth with professors all the time. From then on, I never noticed anything suspicious. Again, I thought I was being paranoid. Some time goes by and life gets easier. She was really hitting her stride with school, and she wasn't as stressed or busy anymore. We had more time together, and we started building a house. Life was essentially on cruise control. Until the nightmare began. It was a Thursday, and I decided to come home early and surprise her because I wanted us to go out for dinner at this new place that just opened. As I was driving down our street, I noticed a car pulling out of my driveway. We passed each other, and I immediately recognized the guy. It was her old college professor. So I immediately go inside the house and found my wife standing in the kitchen wearing just a towel. She was so stunned that she didn't even know what to say. Like she was fumbling her words asking me why I was home. I immediately asked why her professor had just left our house and why was she in a towel? She told me I was overreacting and nothing had happened. So I went straight up to our bedroom and she tries to stop me. When I got to our room, it was obvious what had happened. I told her I was going to contact his wife if she didn't tell me everything. Finally, she broke down and admitted it all. They had been having an affair on off for three years. She said it started the semester after she left his class. But she claims that she was brainwashed by him and that she didn't really want to do it. She said he was in a position of power, even though he wasn't her professor anymore, and claimed she was manipulated into a sexual relationship over a three-year period. It's been a week since I found out. I moved my stuff out that next morning when my wife was at her parents' house, and I contacted a divorce attorney. I feel like a zombie. None of this even seems real. My wife has been texting, calling and emailing me nonstop asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Her family's trying to contact me as well to convince me to give her another shot. Today, I finally blocked her on everything and her family. Fortunately, I have a great support system and everyone has been super helpful. I'm going to schedule an appointment with a therapist next week so I can get the ball rolling. It know it will take time to heal and I know I deserve better. Sorry for the long post. I really needed to get this off my chest. Story 2. My boyfriend cheated. Heartbroken and struggling. My boyfriend recently had an affair with a coworker that lasted for about a year. 
I'm not sure of the exact details because he won't be totally honest with me. He's embarrassed and ashamed, as he should be. I'm hoping that he will eventually provide those details, as I must have transparency in order to even consider moving towards forgiveness. The infidelity was the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm struggling severely trying to deal with his infidelity, and have I've considered leaving the relationship more times than I can count. I feel a pain that I cannot quell. The betrayal has broken my spirit, hardened my heart, and produced insecurities and feelings that I didn't even know I had. I've developed severe anxiety since discovering the affair through text messages on his phone. It's so bad that I literally feel sick to my stomach on a daily basis. I'm stuck in a cycle of rumination about what happened that I can't seem to stop or control. Every time he leaves the house, I'm wondering who he's with and if he's cheating. Every phone call or text message he gets, I'm wondering who sent the text and or who's on the line. I hate my current behavior. This is not me. I hate who I've become as a result of his betrayal. In fact, I don't think I know who I am anymore. The old me would never have even considered being with a man who cheated. I'm violating my own boundaries and it me off. I'm disgusted by his touch right now, and I don't know how I'm going to be able to have sex with him again without some thought about the woman he had sex with repeatedly. Oh and to make matters worse, he cheated without using protection, all done during the height of the pandemic. It's been seven months since D-Day, and I'm on the brink of a total mental health breakdown. Our bond has been broken, and I know that it will never be the same. With all that said, I think that professional help is necessary if we are to move forward and have any chance for the future. Has anyone here had success with couples therapy? The pain is crippling and excruciating. Edit, so after reading your comments, thank you for the support, I have more questions for you. Hasn't everyone felt these feelings after finding out your partner cheated? I've read many many articles about the feelings experienced after betrayal, and it seems that my situation is not unique in any way. I do love this man and he has and continues to show tremendous remorse, not guilt that's different. He's been super supportive of me in my journey of healing, being present when I need to talk about it for the 100th time, lending a shoulder when I need to cry, showing me his phone when I feel insecure and reading all the infidelity articles that I send him in the attempt to understand his actions and my feelings. He comes home from work during the day to see me and most importantly he comes home at night every night consistently. It has helped a lot. He's truly putting forth the effort, but we have a long way to go. We had our first therapy appointment yesterday and he began to open up. I think he needs the support of the therapist to start coming clean and I'm okay with that. He did tell me some significant details, but I feel like there's more that I don't know yet. I feel like I at least should give couples therapy a chance. And I do have individual therapy, and so does he. Come on guys, you really don't think reconciliation is possible in my case? All advice is appreciated thumbs up. Update. So it's been almost 7 months since D-Day, and I still haven't been able to have sex with my partner. I have so many conflicting emotions about it, and I don't know what to do. Part of me feels disgusted by his touch knowing that his hands were on another woman. I don't feel like he's mine anymore. That sacred bond that we shared was gone the moment he touched her. I'm angry about losing that special possession, that he was exclusively mine and I was exclusively his. My self-esteem is in the toilet. Ironically, that makes it even harder for me to want to take my clothes off with him. I feel so bad about myself because of what he did. I fear he will compare me to his AP or think about her while having sex with me. I can't stop thinking about what they did, how they did it, and how much he probably enjoyed it. Makes me sick to my stomach. I don't feel sexually confident anymore. I refused to sleep with him following the affair until he had complete STD slash STI testing done. That bought me a couple months of not having to worry about the Zex issue. But he's been medically cleared so Zex is now in the forefront at least for me. He says that he's more than willing and able to give me all the time I need to heal. But with his birthday and Valentine's Day coming up, I'm feeling more pressure than ever to rekindle the intimacy in our relationship. I'm also scared that if I don't start giving him Zex regularly, he will end up cheating on me again. Don't get me wrong I love my boyfriend and I want us to make love again. 
I want to be close to him again. And he has been more than supportive and patient with me throughout this whole process. We both have IC and do MC together. But as you can see, I'm still struggling to give him the most intimate parts of me for all of the reasons listed above. Has anyone else ever struggled like this with having sex with your partner after an affair? If so, what did you do to overcome it? Any and all advice is appreciated. Update 1. I think we have progress ladies and gentlemen. So it's been 8 months to the day since D-Day, and I finally built up enough trust and security to share myself sexually with my BF again. I was surprised at how much passion poured out of me. I desired him intensely. It's almost like I had been punishing myself by not being physically intimate with my BF for so many months. I realized how much I needed to feel his touch, his warmth, and his love. I didn't experience any intrusive thoughts, which I was concerned about, and I was able to give myself completely without hesitation or regret. There's just one problem. He didn't orgasm, and it's eating me up inside. Why? Well because the last time we had sex prior to his cheating he didn't orgasm either. And to make matters worse, the last time he did orgasm was with his AP. I'm kinda devastated by this. Why could he orgasm with her but seems unable to orgasm with me? In fact, he wasn't even able to get fully aroused. It almost makes me feel like he's no longer mine. He insists that it's not me and that alcohol played a big role in his inability to fully perform. And he wants to continue to explore our newfound intimacy. But I can't help but feel insecure and tearful about the whole situation. Are my feelings valid? Or am I blowing this out of proportion?